So in this feature spotlight, we're going to be looking at the custom exercise feature in Peter Distinction. Now, Peter Distinction has thousands of pre-built exercises that you can use in any of your programs that you want to deliver to your clients. But from time to time, you may wish to add your own exercises, your own exercise videos, or maybe you want to add in something a little bit more customized to you. Now, if you want to do this, you can use the custom exercise feature. To add in a custom exercise, all you need to do is head over to the library option in the top menu and head down to your exercises. Once you're in here, you can head over to my exercises where you'll find a list of any exercise you've already created. To add a new custom exercise, simply click the green add button. At the top, you can give your exercise a name. You can then select a category you like to put it under. Now you can also add in your own categories. These will be subcategories, and I'll show you exactly how that works very shortly. But to add in your own category, click the add new section and just put in the name. Then click add to add in the category. At this point, you can now add in your own exercise video. To do this, you can drag and drop in a file from your computer. You can click browse to open up your computer's browser. If you're uploading your own videos, it needs to be under one gigabyte in size for that particular video. You can also import videos from YouTube and Vimeo, but the maximum length of a video can only be 30 minutes. Once you've uploaded your video, you'll then have the option to add in up to four individual photos. These photos will appear if your client prints out a workout with this particular exercise in it. Once you've added in your video and your photos, if you want to, you can then add in your description for the exercise in the notes section. Once you've added in your description, the most important part is to choose what results and charting metrics you like to include. To add in your own results and charting metrics, click the Add button. And down here, you can type in whatever it is you wish to track, which in this case could be weight. And you can choose the unit of measurement you'd like to add. You can also add in your own units of measurements by typing in the Add New and type in the measurement you want to include, followed by the Add button. Click Done to add in your metrics. You can add in as many metrics as you like here. So for example, we could also include reps and choose our measurement in here as reps. Once you've added in all the information that you require, click the save button and that's your custom exercise created. You'll see it's now been added to the list. At any point, if you wish to edit this, you can click the three buttons here and you can choose edit. You can also share this with other people in your team or other trainers if you wish. So that's your custom exercise setup, but how do you actually use this with a client? Well, to use this with a client, you need to go over to a program. Now, this program can be built in your templates, in a client's account, or in a group. To add in a custom exercise, click the Browse Exercise button. And down the side here, under these categories, you'll see you have your custom option. Below that, then you have all your subcategories that you can go and choose from. Once you've done that, you'll be able to find a list of all the custom exercises that you've created in this account and select the one that you want to use. You can also add in your custom exercises by simply typing in this box here. So let's say we type in our new exercise that we created. You can see here, here is our new custom exercise that we created just a few moments ago. Now, in order to speed up this process, you may find as you're adding in exercises to your workout programs that you may come across an exercise that doesn't exist anymore. Say, for example, here. Whenever that happens, you'll always get the option to add in your own custom exercise simply by clicking this button here. At this point, you can either continue to build out the rest of your program and then head back over into your library later and choose exercise to make edits, or you can just click add now, at which point it opens up this editor here and you can just fill in the details just like you did before.